Lawyers for a Woodstock boy attacked by a neighbor's dog three years ago are now trying to change the way Georgia handles dog bite cases. They say owners should be responsible for preventing their dogs from attacking. Channel 2's Rachel Kim has more from Cherokee County. This picture shows the visible signs of Braden Kelly's injuries well into his recovery. His family says pictures of his actual injuries are too graphic to show. They also say his crooked smile is a result of an attack on Braden by a neighbor's German Shepherd. Three years after the attack, his family's lawyer wants the dog's owners to be held responsible. The defense argued the dog's owners were not guilty of negligence and careless management, but the judge decided that there was enough evidence in the case to proceed to trial. The Kelly's lawyer believes this is a small victory in changing Georgia law, which he says right now does nothing to punish negligent and careless dog owners. Throughout the United States, if a dog owner's irresponsible behavior, if their, if their uh, thoughtlessness, if their stupidity leads to an accident in which a child or somebody else is seriously injured, that person has a remedy. But for some reason, not here in Georgia. I'm glad to see that the judge saw that there was merit uh, in our case and, and will allow it to go to trial. Raiden's dad also tells me his son is doing much better, but still has a lot of emotional scarring, as you can imagine. The defense attorney declined to comment because this case will be going to trial. Reporting from Cherokee County, Rachel Kim, Channel 2 Action News. The case of a dog attack on this little boy is going to trial. A Cherokee County judge made that ruling today. A neighbor's German Shepherd mauled eight-year-old Braden Kelly three years ago. His family wants the dog's owner to be held responsible for Braden's scars and the emotional trauma. The Kelly family lawyer says George's vicious dog law does nothing to punish careless and negligent dog owners.